So, I've lived in London my whole life. But you know, I thought I'd explore my roots a little bit at the age of 25 by coming to Portugal and spending a lot of time here. It's been great, man. It's been so great. I have a pool here. The weather is so nice. And yeah, the other day I was sitting on my balcony and I was reading on my Kindle and uh, it was such a beautiful day, sun shining through and it just got me thinking about this summer I had in Spain, Alicante, 2019, where I was with 10 people. Some were really close friends, some were not so close, I didn't know them that well. There was five guys and five girls. It was interesting. I particularly remembered this one guy, right? His name, I'm not going to say his name, but I'll refer to him as Adrian. It's not his real name. He was this big guy who had potential, right? He was a smart guy. He was, you know, he, had, he, had, he wasn't ugly. You know, he was a fairly decent looking guy. Not attractive either, but, you know, he, he had potential, right? This guy would just do everything he could to spend time with the girls. And you would think, ah, oh, cool, go him. He's trying to, he's trying to get some, uh, he's trying to get lucky, you know? But actually it kind of worked in reverse. So there, I remember there was a lot of moments where we were like, the boys were sitting by the pool chatting after we've had like a long day and the girls were doing their own thing, right? Doing the hair or whatever to get ready for dinner. And somehow there was always four boys and six girls, but there was only five girls on the trip. Adrian, Adrian, <laughs> um, I almost said his name. Adrian, he used to always spend time with the girls. And that's not bad in itself. It's more the way he would do it. He would do it by spending time as one of the girls. The girls would like paint their nails and he doesn't paint his nails, but he would paint his nails. They would like be making these really girly jokes and he'd like do this whole like kind of girly stuff right i'm not i'm not trying to imply anything i'm just saying like that's not what he's actually like like the few times where he was with the boys he was not like that at all he doesn't do those things like when he was with the boys he wouldn't do those things and i understand like when you're with different people you act slightly differently but it was very inconsistent to his like real personality interesting right so he'd completely change to kind of fit in with the girls he was such a nice guy but what i noticed was at the end of the trip he didn't really feel like a brother to the boys. We had a little bit of a brotherhood going on. It was quite nice. He was kind of like a little bit excluded by his own choice. And to the girls, yeah, he wasn't, he was, he was like a brother to them, which is interesting because he clearly didn't want to be a brother to them, clearly. So why is this bad? Adrian would treat these girls like celebrities. If you treat a girl like a celebrity, it's very likely that she will treat you like a fan. These are the type of guys who get used for attention a lot, but they're never actually considered as potential lovers. And the reason for that is because you spend so much time with these girls and you kind of try and relate to them by feminizing yourself, which completely depolarizes your relationship, the masculine and the feminine. It completely gets depolarized and she loses any potential attraction that she could have had for you. And then you basically become her brother. In fact, back in the day when I used to go clubbing a lot, I was single and uh, you know, I'd spend a lot of time with the boys and we would look for girls in the clubs. We'd always look at the girls, like there's an attractive girl over there and she's standing with a man, all right? And we'd, we'd, we'd normally say, oh, it's her brother. It's her brother because nine times out of 10, nine times out of 10, it actually was her brother or it was basically her brother because it's, a guy who's clearly there, he wants something with this girl, but completely depolarized, the girl has no interest. And so, yeah, it's her brother. It was a funny joke back in the day, but anyways, getting back to Adrian, he basically becomes a stuffed animal of his own creation for them to play with. But this is a massive problem because the reality is Adrian is cheeky. He's super sneaky. He is doing this because he very clearly wants to be close to the girls so that he could potentially sleep with them. But the problem is once the girls discover that their stuffed animal <laughs> has a hard on poking them in the back, they're not going to be very happy and they're going to throw it away. They're, they're going to be quite disappointed, potentially disgusted, and uh, it's not going to go well for Adrian. Adrian, you are not a nice guy. You're acting nice so that you potentially get laid. 
and that is super snaky, inauthentic, and that is why the boys didn't want to consider you as part of the boys because they lost a lot of respect for you. So what should you do instead? Look, here's the thing. I'm not trying to tell you to be a dick. That's not what I mean by don't be a nice guy. You should always focus on being genuine, being nice. That's worse than just saying the truth, right? A lot of guys set the wrong beginning impression. You need to be direct and consistent so that a woman can learn to trust what you say and know that you mean it right? You mean what you say. This will earn you huge amounts of respect, even when you're saying things that they don't particularly like. Don't be a snake, man. Like at the end of the day, if you want to get with a girl, make it very clear. I don't mean literally walk up to her and be like, kiss me, but make it very clear that you're not here to be friend zoned. And if you get rejected, which is very likely, and that's fine. It's very normal. Um, then if you don't want to be friends, don't allow yourself to be friend zoned. Because again, that's, that's being disingenuous with yourself. So just be like, okay, cool, walk away. That's it, that's all you need to do. It's very simple. One thing to, to remember though, is that this kind of applies to outside of just when you're beginning to meet somebody. You have to stay this way forever. You have to be consistent and genuine forever because I've had many occasions myself where I've let it slip where I've, I've, I've done really well at the beginning. You know, I met a girl and uh, things were going great and we sleep together and things are going great. And eventually I kind of get a little bit hooked. So I start investing a lot of attention and time. And then all of a sudden I'm changing the way I truly think about things to make that person happy. Again, being a nice guy, um, AKA being disingenuous to get closer to that person, but actually I'm hurting myself. And that I used to do all the time when I was like 19 and 20 and it was not great. You should be so busy with like purposeful work that you can't and won't be used for attention. Yeah, of course, it's important to give attention to somebody you care about, but you won't be used for attention. That's just not going to happen if you're like in the right place as a man. You won't be used. It can't, it can't happen because you're too busy. I uh, don't know what happened to Adrian. Uh, last time I heard about him, he had gotten into the gym, so maybe he uh, he went down a good path. But yeah, guys, this is why nobody likes nice guys. <laughs>